The search is on to find whoever is responsible for a vandalism spree in the metro. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help right now. We want to take a look at all these busted and broken car windows. Officials say not one, not two, not three, but at least 28 vehicles were damaged by vandals with BB guns in Northwest Albuquerque. That includes Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen's unit as well. Griffin Russian joins us. He's been looking into this and speaking with people affected. Griffin, do we know anything about a suspect? No, not right now. BCSO has only released video of a suspected vehicle. They're asking anyone with information or anyone who hasn't already reported damage to give them a call. Take a look at your screen. BCSO investigators believe the suspects were driving this white or silver sedan when they opened fire on vehicles with a BB gun. They say that car you're looking at is missing a hubcap on the passenger side. These are all the homes that have reported damage so far. You can see most of the attacks happen on just a few streets in Paradise hills but there were several reports in nearby ventana ranch as well bcso leaders say all of the vandalism happened between 12 30 and 5 a.m and based on the initial reports there's more than seventeen thousand dollars worth of damage and the homeowners we talked to know they're the ones footing the bill i mean the windshield uh, the rear hatch was probably i got a quote from the, one of the glass places they wanted like 700 bucks wow just for the glass you know that's not counting the, the lens and whatever we got to do here now so i don't know mark van meter says he didn't even know vandals damaged his back windshield until he was driving his car saturday morning it looked like the back windshield was frosted over but as I moved down the road a little bit, it started to fall in. He didn't think too much of it until he noticed his neighbor's windshield was also shattered. And that was just the tip of the iceberg. I didn't even realize it was all of our cars until each, like throughout the day, I'm like, oh no, it's, it's my car now too. Oh no, now it's the truck. Vandals damaged all four cars parked in front of Monica Mura's house, leaving behind an obliterated windshield, a shattered car window, and several bullet holes, possibly up to $1,000 in damage. It's very unfortunate. I mean, it's going to cost us quite a bit of money and it's going to cost our neighbors a lot of money. BCSO leaders say vandals damaged at least 28 vehicles, including Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen's marked patrol unit. His windshield was actually broken by one of the BBs that was shot, so he certainly took it upon himself to make sure that this was at the top of of the level of importance for the sheriff's office. Detectives and our deputies were on it right away trying to get as much information and as much video footage as possible and really flooded the area with assistance to try to get as much information as they could. So far, that only includes this video of a suspected vehicle. I feel like there's just some maybe young kids that had BB guns and too much time on their hands. I'm hoping that's all it was. But for Van Meter... Just a normal day in Albuquerque. I mean, you gotta take the stones as they come. BCSO leaders say property crimes like this are usually just a misdemeanor, but once suspects rack up $1,000 in damage, it becomes a fourth degree felony. And we'll remind you, there's already $17,000 in reported damages, at least right now. Oof. All right, reach out to BCSO if your car was damaged or if you know anything about potential suspects. Thank you, Griffin.